Coach, it was a busy week for you guys. Obviously, the ball announcement, yeah. um, Coach Baldwin going to Cal Poly, some off the field stuff, and then of course you traveling 17,000 miles. Mm -hmm. uh, what has been the mood around the team in terms of how invested they are in these extracurricular stuff, and then or balancing that and just being focused on the ball game? If that makes sense. Uh, what what extracurricular are you talking about? Just everything that's been going on. The signing days coming up. Um, Coach oh, the, Yeah, so I'll, we could kind of talk through each of those. The the players right now, it's it's academics, and now we're back at practice. So they've had a chance to. They had a couple workouts, so they were able to rejuvenate their bodies, uh, rest and recover, and now it's academics and we're starting to get back into practice and developmental mode. So for them, it's pretty cut and dry. Uh, the coaches, uh, we've been on the road for the last two weeks pretty much nonstop. We got recruiting weekends going, which is a uh, really big, important time of the year for the program. And in, as we all know, in college football, they're, uh, you know, things change. And we're, we're really excited for Coach Ball and he is a, fantastic football coach he's an even better person and uh, just uh, really happy for him and you know my job here is to if, if there's situations that are better for our coaches and them and their families then we're going to support him 100 percent he's done a heck of a job and i really enjoy being around Bo. he we've had some tough circumstances at times and uh, i think he's done a, a great job for our program and just uh, appreciate it as far as uh, looking for a successor, do you have a criteria in mind? You want somebody with some experience or somebody who's been in it? Yeah, there's some certain things that uh, we'll be looking for. There's a lot of good football coaches out there. There's a lot of interest in the job. I mean, that's that's how it goes. Uh, probably got to change my phone number. You know? But that's a good thing because people are interested. And there are certain uh, criteria, yes, that, that we'll be looking for. And, We'll find somebody that fits our program and who can coach our players well, treat them well, and, and uh, fit in with our staff. How many would you guess you've heard from? Oh, geez. Indirectly or directly? A lot. 20, I mean, 50, 100? Yeah, there's a lot. I mean, I, I don't know if I put a number on it, but uh, a lot. Yeah. Which is good. It's, you know, it's humbling. People are interested and uh, would like to talk about being here. So. Would you prefer to stay inside? I'm just not going to talk much about I won't talk about the, the hiring process uh, publicly just for, for a number of reasons. But, uh, and I appreciate the interest because it matters to a lot of folks. And uh, Part of my job is being prepared for moments like this, and they are dynamic. Things change, um, but uh, we will get somebody uh, very good who will fit in well and be a great coach and great person. How much is this uh, first weekend of practice is uh, focused on development? Mm -hmm. The first practice is you got to get their legs back going because <laughs> they've been off the field for quite some time now. So we get get them going again, and then there's uh, you balance both. So we get our veterans back rolling, individual, a little bit of seven on seven, then we get a lot of developmental work. So for the guys that have fewer reps this season, and it's a really important time of year for them so it's great we can pour our energy in those team reps especially into them and it's a extra nearly an extra spring ball did the offensive lineman uh, lose a bet oh, you'd think <laughs> you'd think i don't know i mean if that was voluntary we need to reevaluate some things <laughs> yeah, i'm glad you noticed they didn't try to get you to your oh head. they know better than that <laughs> Uh, how did they look today? For the, the players? Day, yeah. Uh, it looked like they've been off for a couple weeks, but their energy was good. It's just if you haven't been out here running routes or pushing the sled or striking people, there's a there's that process of getting back into it. It'll, it'll come quick, though. Yeah. So. It's very early, but are there any names we might be seeing on December 30th that haven't played recently? Maybe Jeremiah Hawkins or Coach Crawford? Yes. Uh, we would anticipate all those guys being available. Um, and I will say uh, there's one that we won't, and that's Ashton Davis. So Ashton um, had to have a procedure done. It's a minor procedure, but it was something that he needed to have done. And, uh, you know, a guy like that who's such a competitor and loves his team, it's really difficult. Uh, but it's something small, but had to happen. Uh, so he won't uh, be playing? He won't be playing. Is yeah. this sort of looking toward his future in a way? Well, I, I don't know. It wasn't. I'm not sure it was avoidable, and so he had to have it done. And you know, we are all behind Ashton a thousand percent. So uh, he'll be there. He'll be there with us. 
uh, just won't be able to play in the game. Is there any, you know, there's always some players who have pro aspirations who decide not to play in the bowl. Do mm -hmm. you, you have any uh, Currently, no. Uh, you know, those are, again, guys have to make decisions for themselves and uh, not yet. Not yet. How do you feel about that? Um, I think that's a touchy one, to be honest. We have to be, uh, ultimately, it has to be in the players' hands. Um, I, of course, have opinions on it. Um, that's why but I think it's just, it's easy for me to say. You know, well, what every coach is going to say the same thing. You know, the players have to make their own decisions. And I can talk to them uh, about those decisions and offer insight. I know how I feel, but it's ultimately up to the player. And so I know it's become uh, more commonplace in this day and age. I just think it's you know, uh, a bit of a touchy subject on both sides. So yeah, they have to, to make the call. Coach, two years ago, if people had told you that now Evan Weaver would be a first team All-American across all these sites, mm -hmm. would you believe them? Um, yeah. I don't know. You know, two, it's hard to it's hard to see two years out on most of these guys. You know, sometimes you have a feeling or an inkling based on practice or what you see flashes in a game that guys could be pretty dang good. But uh, there's just so many. There's so much more to it. I mean, it takes so much time and energy, and you gotta train your body and you gotta stay healthy. And there's just there's a lot to it. So. I think he's worked really hard to get there. Uh, he's had uh, some really good moments, but Evans, I mean, he's, he's had a lot of, you know, early in his career especially, and even in the last game, moments he has to learn from. And uh, I think he's come a long way. He's not perfect, but he's extremely productive. I mean, there's just no uh, disputing the production that that guy's had. And uh, he has made the plays when they were there to be made. And I know it also takes his teammates, you know, the D-line and the outside backers and the, and the cover guys. So and he would tell you the same thing, but uh, I think he's deserved to earn those awards. And, and we're happy for him and the other guys, you know, Ashton Davis being nominated for the Burlesworth and all the other guys that are on the Pac-12 team. Really proud of all those guys, because it's, it's hard to do. All right, anything else, guys? Okay. Seventeen. Seventeen thousand thirty-eight. From did you have me go? <laughs> did you have me? Go, I went to LA and back last night. Get an extra like eight hundred on that. <laughs> Almost eighteen thousand miles. <laughs> What's the circumference of the Earth? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Oh my god. Almost. <laughs> maybe next year, yeah, Trace. Maybe next there. year. Oh, by January. I'll see Trace. By, next How about week? by January, I'll get it done. Jeez. Oh, <laughs>